Fish stories come and go, but the good ones, they stand the test of time. In 1961, Marvin Bushong caught this 13-pound, 14-ounce largemouth bass on the Pontiac arm of Bull Shoals Lake. It became the Missouri state record, and it remains so to this day. Well, uh, my dad was, he fished every day. They always seemed to come home with a big string or a fish. I mean, that was his life. Meet Marvin Bushong, born in 1926 in rural Ozark County. He grew up in the county seat of Gainesville, living a life that must have been a lot like Mayberry. During the war, he served with pride in the 745th Tank Battalion. And while the boys were enjoying their semester abroad, things were happening back home that would have a profound effect on Marvin's life. Planning had begun on Bull Shoals Lake, a massive 45,000 acre impoundment, one arm of which would extend right up to Gainesville. For Marvin, oh, it was a dream come true. 55 years later, his son Mike is still fishing these waters. And I'm sure he got down here while it was still dark. He would have come down this bank, best we know, on that spinner bait as he come down through here and after assessing that deal that it was his second cast of the day, I believe. Years after that epic catch, Marvin's wife wrote an account of what happened that day. The big lunker hit Bushon's second cast. It hit hard, hard. And, and the, the barbed, barbed hook was firmly embedded in its lower bony lip. Bushong fought the bass for about 12 minutes, and it was fortunate that it was firmly hooked, for the reel came off the pole while he was playing the bass. Holding the reel in his hand, he kept winding the reel and pulling on the line until he got the bass to the boat. No surprise at all. In the case of like bull shoals, when, a, when that water starts being impounded, there's a lot of trees, vegetation, the soil, there's a lot of nutrients there, and a lot of times in these new lakes, that's when you're going to experience the best fishing and the biggest fish being produced back in the 50s and early 60s. Phenomenal numbers of fish, seven, eight, nine, ten, even 11 pound fish that were being brought out of the lake. Sadly, Marvin wasn't able to enjoy his record for long. He was tragically killed just nine years later, again on the water, tangled in his trot lines. His passion for fishing burned until the very end. But that record, the largest largemouth bass ever taken in the state of Missouri, lives on. 